What is up? What is going on? David, SVA Baseball Card Collectors. A dreary, rainy day here in the mean streets of Long Island, New York. This is the podcast for people who are just getting back into collecting or have been collecting for some time and don't want to be bored out of your mind with other crap. uh, Not meaning other podcasts, because really there's not too many other podcasts. Um, and the couple that I've listened to, they've been actually pretty good. So, um, kudos to them. Uh, kudos. Ugh. Such a stupid word, kudos. Whatever. Anyway, so, I've been making more and more of a big deal about um, taking a look, uh, buying cards on eBay, newer cards, and making sure that you're buying a card that gives you the best best, I can't think of a word, uh, best way, best whatever, to get a PSA 10. Now, you'll never, ever, ever be able to 100% say for sure that you're going to get a PSA 10 from buying a raw card, because there's just too many um, variables, especially even if you take out a card out of a pack and it looks perfect, you still might not get it, because that day, maybe the PSA grader... Um, got yelled at by his old lady and um, just is in an annoyed mood so everyone's getting PSA 7s and 8s but I digress so I've been really there's really only two things you really can tell and even still the second thing is really hard to tell um, though well, I'm going to say the first thing is really hard to tell Corners. <laughs> I am off today. Corners. You can have an idea of how well the corners are based off the pictures from eBay, but a lot of times people take really crappy pictures, which is, for the most part, what we want. We want crappy pictures. The worse it looks, as in they don't give a crap about their listing and they're not really trying to put their best foot forward to selling, will be better for you because maybe that card isn't as prominent maybe people won't see it as much so or people just pass it by because they go i really can't see it which it could be an opportunity for you if you take your time slow down and really look at the card and don't rush to bid or just buy it now so the corners you can somewhat have an idea of what's going on if you don't see anything bad with the corners on the front meaning you don't see any whitening, that's a good thing. If you see some on the back, that's okay, because you can fix that. And I'm not talking about doctoring it, cutting it, whatever the case may be. You get, and I have a video about this, and I stole this from uh, Dr. Card. So if you want to check out the source, go over there, because he does a really good job, better than me. But you would see the way you would do it by watching me because you're not going to be no Dr. Card because this is what he does for a living, I guess. I don't think it's what he does for a living, but he does a lot of cards. So, basically what you're doing is you're getting some tweezers. You know, your your wife might have some tweezers. You sneak in, you get them. You put a bunch of saran wrap around the end of the tweezer to make sure that the point, the Sharpie point, is not exposed at all, because you do not want it touching the card. So you put a bunch of saran wrap at the end, make it a big ball saran wrap. And what you're gonna be doing is pushing it, if the, we'll say it's the top left corner and you have the card right in front of you, you wanna push it up. That's all you're doing is pushing that corner up and getting, and you're just folding it back in place. You're not doing anything else. And then what you do, you put it in the card holder, and then you put it in the card saver. And that's gonna make it, being in there, is you're gonna push it tight and put it, put it back. You're not, and you're not pressing it. Again, that's, you know, doing some nonsense. That's not good. That's doctoring the card. But you're just putting it back. You're not doing anything else. Um, It wouldn't fall under the guise of PWCC's restoration that you would just cut it and and mash it and um, 
there you go. But, so, if you see something like that, a white part like that, if you see a ding, that's a different story. No bueno. If you see a dot on a car, no bueno. You can't do anything about that. Now, I'm gonna, this is gonna be more geared towards, this is Bauman Chrome, Topps Chrome. If you see some surface issues, not heavy scratches, but some spots or something like that, that's okay. You can, you can again, if you go to my uh, video, you just put some wax on it, and you just keep rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it, and then you clean the wax off. Rubbing it, rubbing, rubbing it, cleaning it. Wax on, wax off. Mr. Miyagi in it. So, that could, and all you're doing is just cleaning your car. You're not really doing anything else. You're not adding any um, additives because you're wiping the wax off. Um, so, you have the, so now it's three. I should have said three, not two. So, corners. If you see whites in the front, you can try to do the same thing to push it forward, but it makes it more difficult because it's really bent the wrong way. It's bent and you'll probably have a crease in the front, whereas in the back, you won't have that crease. So, if you see white in the front, it's much more difficult to fix. It may not be the car that you want to go after. But let's just say corners are fine, surface is fine. The most important thing that you can figure out in a car is centering. The only one that I have a difficult time figuring out is actually the latest Bauman, 2019 Bauman. I, I, up and down you can figure it out, but left to right, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's supposed to be no border to the right side. I, I'm, I'm not too sure. I need to look at more PSA 10s and more uh, graded cars. But I've been very proficient in 2018 Bauman Chrome just because of the mistakes I've made and from the amount of cards that I've got. Um, I posted on the Facebook group a card that I bought a while back. Um, Jonathan India, I've talked about him before. I think he's an undervalued prospect. And and I'm buying his car, so you know I'm practicing what I preach. Some people will say, "Well, you're trying to push the price up on his cars." No, it's just an undervalued car. I'm buying it. You go buy it. If you don't want to buy it, go scratch. I don't care. Don't matter to me. You're not breaking my shoes. So now I could tell as soon as I got it, I went, "God damn." It because it was definitely off-center. And I go, this, I could not have made this mistake. Let me look on eBay. Sure enough, it was off-centered, and that's why I got such a good deal, because I wasn't paying attention. Um, it's the one thing you can control. It's the one thing that you can see. It's not that difficult. I and mean, you look at enough of these cards, you'll be able to tell. And that's what's very important when you say, do your research, do your due diligence. The more you look at these cards, the more it's just going to pop out to you and you're going to go, oh, it's wrong, it's all. Um, a lot of times people don't realize the top to bottom has to be equal as well. Some cards, the bottom is shorter than the top. No bueno. It's everything. And especially with those Bauman cards, it becomes a little bit more difficult to tell um, centering. I have a problem also with the 2016 with centering as well. Um, <clears throat> because I didn't look at them that much. 2018, Bauman Chrome, all day I can take a look at it, I can tell right off the bat. So it's just making sure that it's centered, because if it's not, you're not going to get a 10. And it seems more and more, they gave you a little leeway PSA 10 with centering, but with my experience from what I've gotten, that's not the case, except for one card. And that was uh, the yellow, I think 1963 version of Otani, uh, the archives. I don't know if it's throwback or archive, whatever the hell it is. Because it was definitely askew, it was off, but the car, everything else was perfect about it. The corners were sharp, the color was bright, everything else was really good, but it definitely looked a little off, and I got a 10. Um, so it's just, I, I think the centering, it's, it's pretty critical. And 
Beckett gives you, I think, a little leeway on, because all you need is that nine. If you get a nine, you're okay. Because if everything else is nine and a half, you're golden. And that's nine and a half with, with the surface you should be able to get, because you should be able to clean it off. The corners, you should be able to tell, hey, there's no dings, there's no, you know, white marks or, or things like that from the, from the picture. For the most part, I know it is difficult at times with the background for corners. So that's the only other thing that you really do have to watch out for and is sometimes you just really can't tell and that's when you're going to be throwing a prayer. Now when you're throwing a prayer and it's a good price, then now it's important, it's imperative to get a good price. You can't be paying full price and praying because it's just not smart. And the other thing is take a look at what it is for a PSA 9 because if you don't get that 10, you better damn make sure you get a 9 because you should be able to get your money back with PSA 9 or close to it. That's really what you want to do. So if you're buying a car for 4 bucks, $9 to get it graded, you better make sure that you get yourself for 15 16 bucks. A lot of the base cards that you know, you're going after, that's how much they go for PSA 10, so it may never be something to do. Um, one thing that you can do is buy lots of 10 and try to get it for a cheaper cost per card. And that way, yeah, maybe you, you might not get 10s on two or three of them, but if you have five or six of them getting 10s, you're going to make your money back and then some. So just a couple of things, a couple of ideas um, to think about. But long story short, check the centering. It is very important. I think it's the most important thing because it's one thing that you can actually see. You really don't, there's really nothing to it. Just stare, stare and compare. Oh, I got a new sl sl uh, slogan, stare and compare. Look at a PSA 10 and look at the card that you're going to buy. Does it look off? Does it, just take a look at it. All right, guys, SVA baseball card collectors. That's the Facebook group. SVA BB collectors on Flick Chat. Same thing, SVA BB Collectors on Instagram, Twitter, SVACardCollectors.com. That's my website. Check out my uh, article. It's not really an article. It's just all the sets that are coming out in July, something short, something concise. So instead of going Cardboard Connection and you have to fiddle through, you know, which baseball sets are coming out, I make it nice and easy for you. Still check them out for the checklist. I didn't put that on there, <clears throat> but you got that. And um, buy some cards and go broke, people. Later.